Today, on Voiding Warranties, I'm going to attempt to make a lean burn engine, and in the process, do a little bit of trolling physics. At Voiding Warranties, while we may play with the laws of physics ever so slightly, we do not violate the first law of thermodynamics. That is forbidden. Alright, I've got the engine all warmed up. Let's take a look at how it's running. Peak pressure points right about where it should be. I'm running 12.8 to 1, which is kind of to be expected. It's running in uh, open loop right now. And about 4.8 grams per second on the math. Let's take a look at the catalytic temperature and the mass airflow and see what happens when we make a few changes. Now, Harlan, you fine gentlemen, you're probably thinking, how are you going to make this thing lean burn? Well, I'm going to add a vacuum leak right here. All right, you can hear the small vacuum leak. Mass airflow has changed a little bit, and it looks like exhaust temperature is on the rise, and the peak pressure point is getting too far back. Let's see if we can fix that by adding some timing. All right, mass airflow is going down. Exhaust temperature is still going up, and I don't have peak pressure point where I want it. Let's add more timing. Okay, we're getting there. Let's add even more timing, mwahaha. See, no knock, we're still doing fine. All right, I'm getting the peak pressure point almost where I want it. Let's add a little bit more timing. All right, still fighting the peak pressure point. Come on now, come on. All this time the mass airflow is going down. Now that's the mass airflow read by the mass airflow sensor, so it's corresponding with fuel. The actual mass airflow has gone up because I added a vacuum leak. Let's add more timing. See, I'm fighting to get the peak pressure point down. It is not burning as well as I would hope. And also, if I actually get it lean burning properly, the exhaust temperature should go down as the engine uses that energy instead of the exhaust. But I'm not there. Mass airflow is still coming down, no signs of detonation. At this point, I'm starting to wonder if the peak pressure point is reading properly in this range. It's kind of iffy, but mass airflow is still going down. Funny enough though, the AFR is actually going up, so I don't think it's uh, I don't think it's having a complete combustion anymore. The more complete the combustion, the lower your uh, indicated AFR. Odd. But still have exhaust temperature going up. This is not working out very well. All right. Now I've added 40 degrees of timing to both trailing and leading. That's just an insane amount of timing. Mass airflow has settled down about 3.8, so that means it actually is saving fuel compared to stock, but I still don't have the exhaust temperature going down. It's gone up. And no signs of detonation. This is a good thing, but it's not doing very well for what I had hoped. All right, I've put everything back where it started from, and guess what? Exhaust temperature is going down. Still have the front peak pressure point a little bit too far retarded. I think it's actually reading properly again, and mass airflow sensor is still reading about 4.8. Yep, first attempt did not work. All right, for my second attempt at lean burn, I'm doing something a little bit different. Instead of running the cold outside ambient air, I'm taking this line and putting it right behind the radiator. So this will be warm air going into the engine. Hopefully it'll help the fuel burn. All right, let's take a look at the handy dandy tuning tablet. It is running really bad right now, but let's add some timing. See if we can make that better. Well, mass airflow is coming down. That's a good sign. Mass airflow is still coming down, but the catalytic temperature is going up. Everything I've read and studied says that uh, you should be able to get the amount of fuel you're consuming down and get the uh, exhaust temperature down as well, this is not happening yet. Well, we're left with a couple options. 
Either I'm just running it too lean and I can't support that combustion, or the RPM is too low to support because uh, the airflow is too stable, so there's not enough mixing going on. Or maybe it just doesn't work. Well, let's pull some air and see what happens. All right, I just pulled some air. So it's less lean now. Catalytic temperature is still high, so exhaust gas temperature is still high. Let's pull a little bit more. I mean, there would be a fuel savings compared to stock because the mass airflow sensor is reading less, so it's actually putting less fuel in. I'm running it at 18 to one. And the exhaust gas temperature is coming down. I don't know if my peak pressure point is, is actually valid. I'm still figuring out how to code that right so it actually works in all conditions. Let's see where exhaust gas temperature settles out. We may have a winner here. All right, I've pulled some of the leading advance and it's still running well, but uh, the exhaust gas temperature is going down, so I think that might be the right direction. I'm gonna keep playing with it, see what happens. All right, we're still, uh, we're still down from uh, stock mass airflow. Catalytic temperature, so the exhaust gas temperature is coming down and it's running pretty well. I mean, this isn't great. This isn't everything I had hoped for, but it's not bad. I think we might actually be able to do this. It's running better than it was without the heated air. I can tell that for sure. I do think this has a shot, but I think there are other things I'm gonna have to try to make lean burn work, at least at idle. This might work just fine under cruise condition, but I'm not ready to test that quite yet. As you can see, I tried a couple methods for lean burn, and neither of them quite worked the way I had wanted to. Now, there are a few more tricks I have up my sleeve. I'm probably gonna try injecting a small amount of propane and see if that can bridge the gap between the unburnt fuel pockets. And if that actually shows positive results, I might even try something kind of crazy like a hydrogen uh, generator. Now, I know hydrogen generators are really kind of sketchy and there are some good reasons for that, but NASA actually has studied hydrogen as a supplemental fuel for lean burn engines and there's good reason for that as well. The concept is solid, but whether you can actually get any efficiency out of it, that's the question. But I'm willing to try it. But that's for another time on Voiding Warranties.